By the end of the lesson, students should be in groups of four to six and will have chosen a social issue that they want the class to focus on. During the lesson, you may find there's some lively debate. Due to the sensitivity of some social issues, it might be a good idea to set some ground rules before you start. The goal of the first few activities is to get students thinking about social issues in society. The first activity is video based. There's a range of charity videos in the lesson folder for you to choose from. As a class, students will come up with a definition for a social issue. There's a recommended definition included in the PowerPoint. In identifying causes and making links, you will read out the case study provided in the lesson folder. Students are asked to identify the social issues that they hear and draw links between them. Students then think about who's responsible. Depending on your class, you might want students to discuss in pairs, or you may wish to lead the discussion with the whole class. Before the end of the lesson, the class must be divided into smaller groups of four to six students. In their groups, they should identify social issues in their own community. After compiling a list of social issues, each group then decides on the issue they want to focus on. There is a list of suggested social issues in the course book if they're stuck for ideas. At the end of every first give lesson, students should reflect on the knowledge or skills that they have developed in that lesson. They should select red, amber or green in their course book to indicate how they rate their own skills and knowledge. In lesson one, they'll rate their understanding of social issues. Next lesson, they'll begin to research local charities that address their chosen issues. Computers will be needed for this lesson.